This is a budget version of a Thai jungle curry and rather than using traditional chicken or pork, it's vegan and packed with delicious veggies. I first came across jungle curry when I was the private chef to Brian Adams. Brian was a vegan who ironically didn't like vegetables, we were actually in a resort, in a jungle, in Thailand, it was dinner time and with the advice of the head chef I created this meat-free variation. The ingredients were literally fresh out of the jungle and Brian scoffed the lot, veggies and all. The finished dish should be soupy-like and it should taste hot, sweet and sour. For the adventurous keen cooks out there try making your own paste otherwise use a good quality shop bought. Ingredients 1 vegetable stock cube, dissolved in 300 ml hot water. 2 tablespoons sunflower oil. 1 small sweet potato cut into large bite-sized pieces. 1 large red pepper, cored. Deseeded and cut into 2 cm slash 3 quarters of an inch chunks. 2 handfuls fine green beans, trimmed, halved. 1 big handful baby sweet corn, trimmed, halved. 2 tablespoons Thai red curry paste. 1 tablespoon Thai fish sauce, nam pla, optional. 2 teaspoons corn flour. Juice and zest of 2 limes. 2 spring onions fine sliced. Handful of cherry tomatoes halved. Large handful fresh coriander. Method. 1. Heat the oil in a large non-stick frying pan or wok over a high heat. Add the red pepper, green beans and baby sweet corn and stir fry for 2 to 3 minutes. 2. Add the curry paste and cook for a further 1 to 2 minutes. 3. Add the stock, lime and fish sauce, bring the mixture to the boil. Reduce the heat and simmer for 2 to 3 minutes, or until the sweet potatoes are just tender. 4. In a small bowl, whisk the corn flour with 1 tablespoon cold water to form a smooth paste. Whisk into the curry and continue to simmer for 4 to 5 minutes, or until the curry sauce has thickened slightly. 5. Stir in the spring onions, coriander and cherry tomatoes. 6. Serve with steamed rice. For more on this story, visit the news article link.